Let's label each carbon atom with the appropriate hybridization, sp, sp2, or sp3. So I'm going to re-rotate this, and I'm going to write H3C here, bonded to C, bonded to CH2, CH2, CH3 here. So I want to label all of these carbons. Okay, so we know that um, for alkanes specifically, alkanes are hybridized in sp3, right? So alkanes meaning they're single bonded together. So this guy here, which means this guy here has to be sp3. This guy here is sp3. And this guy here is sp3. And again, sp3 uh, yields my tetrahedral um, carbon here. So it has to be uh, single bonded here. And CH2 here is different, right? This, these guys here, this is here is double bond, right? So this double bond changes things here. It changes things into the sp2 hybridization here. So this guy, this carbon here, instead of sp3, sp2. So it's going to be our solution for this answer. And let's see. Um, and this carbon is also, also sp2. Did I? Oh, they, I think they asked for this one as well. So this here is also sp2. Because again, the double bond makes it so that it's... Um, I, have, I, do, I contain one pi bond and the rest are the sigma bonds, whereas in the sp3 hybridization, they're all single bonds and no pi bonds here. Sorry, no sigma bonds and no pi bonds here. So let's see, sp3, which is good. This one's sp2, this one's sp2, sp3, sp3. So the solution here is correct.